Good morning, Warren Tech students and staff. I'm Riley. And I'm Raven. And this is your Nightline News for Monday, October 7th. The cross-country team is organizing a fundraiser at Home Plate Dairy and Grinder Shop in Stewartsville. When you purchase anything from Home Plate on Wednesday, October 9th, they will be they will give 10% back to the cross country team. Credit will be given from 3.30 to 8 p.m. Please consider supporting the XC team. There will be a blood drive on October 24th from 8 a.m. to 2.15. Students 16 and under may participate, but anybody under 18 needs per permission from their parents and all signups will take place in the nurse's office. The sign-up sheets will be available shortly. There will be more information available upon signups. There will be a key club meeting tomorrow in the TV shop after school. They will be discussing fall rally and creating some props for a week of respect activities. Don't forget to sign up for the late bus if you plan to attend. This week is the Week of Respect. The Week of Respect is celebrated at schools throughout New Jersey to recognize the importance of social emotional learning and to unite against harassment, intimidation, and bullying. Next week, Warren Tech will be par participating in the Week of Respect, hosting various events throughout the week and, of course, a Spirit School Week. Tomorrow, Tuesday, show by wearing a team, by wearing your favorite team apparel. On Wednesday, show that a friend is no sweat by wearing sweatpants or on Thursday, celebrate our differences by wearing tie-dye, and on Friday, unite against bullying by wearing your tech gear. The Law and Public Safety Program is inviting all veterans to our school on Thursday, November 14, 2024, from 7.30 to 1 p.m. for our annual Ve Veterans Day ceremony to show them the respect and admiration that we have for them and their dedication to the to our country. They will first attend breakfast, then attend a school-wide assembly on, I mean, and attend a lunch after the ceremony has concluded. The veterans will then go to the classrooms to talk to the students about their experiences while serving. If you know of a veteran who would like to attend, please find a flyer in the hallway or ask the main office to apply. Please return all applications to Mr. Wheatley in room 384. Now we head to the other 538 with Isaiah. If you've been watching the news at all recently, you've probably heard of something called the Electoral College. The Electoral College is how we elect our nation's presidents, and it's one of the most controversial systems in our government. People either passively support the status quo or think the entire system should be abolished and replaced. Or, you might not know the Electoral College at all. The Electoral College has a lot of rules and gimmicks, but put simply, each state is given a set amount of electoral votes. In total, there are 538 among all 50 states plus Washington, D.C. And in order to win the Electoral College, you have to win 270 of those votes. The amount of electoral votes a state gets is decided by the number of people who represent that state in Congress. This means one vote for each member of the House of Representatives plus two votes for each two senators. And the way a candidate wins all those electoral votes is by getting more votes in that specific state than any other candidate there. Whoever gets more votes in the state gets all the state's electoral votes, no matter how close it was. Due to this winner-take-all system, candidates for president will often not reach out to voters in states that are either never going to vote for them or never going to vote against them, rather sticking to catering to swing state, states which could go one way or another in an election. Once all the votes in every state are tallied up and each state is given to their candidate, whoever makes it past 270 electoral votes becomes president-elect. And that's how the Electoral College works in the set amount of time that I have to explain it. And that is all for this episode of Nightline News. I'm Riley. And I'm Raven. Have a great day, Warren Tech.